tayo. Siyempre, to go determine local. who will go to our professional league, the Pro Gaming Series. This time, we have the Build Overs Finals. Final, <laughs> finals? Finals? Ayan, yeah. at kami po yung magiging shoutcaster. I am Shinbu with one for an eye. And with me, my partner, it's gonna be Atlas. Ayan, and of course, exciting set of teams as we head on to the uh, top four. Top four teams ng ating Build Overs Finals. So to name them, what do we have here? Uh, so our schedule. Yeah, for our schedule, it's going to be first. It's going to be the battle for third place, mm -hmm. which will be between Explicit Esports versus um, Infuse Esports. Infuse, Infuse, of course. And for battle for first place, the finals is going to be one. Now we can actually see this in our schedule. Yes, and yeah, it's going to be uh, two best of threes. Indeed. So. Uh, it's going to be an uh, action pack. Mm. It's not just going to be a best of one. It mm. means that uh, both of these teams will have some calculations to do, some, yes. pre some predictions, some adaptations after each game should make this finals uh, and battle for third. Yeah, Very potentially a uh, six set of games tayo mm, ngayon. Yeah. And sa mga summoners natin, okay, to give you an idea, ano ba meron? Ano mga bagong teams na to, di ba? Kasi hindi yan yung usual na nakikita natin sa ating Garini streams mula sa mga PGS teams natin. Ito po, yung anytime, okay, any of these four teams, actually lahat sila, silang apat, may chance sa makapasok yes. sa PGS. Their performance here mm. will change how easy or hard it is mm. to get in, however. Into the PGS, okay? So, et, eto, eto po mga summoners, etong apat na team na to, for sure, may mga kalaban na silang, uh, out of that, uh, three out of these four summoners, for sure, may mga kalaban na silang, ano, uh, PGS Pro Team. Ayan, na nakapasok sa ating relegations, okay? Yan po yung hindi nakapasok sa ating playoffs, which is the number five team, TNC, okay? Yung number 6 natin, which is Team Manila Eagles, at yung number 7 team natin, which is Emperor Esports. Now, yung number 8 po natin, yung bottom team natin dito sa, uh, mula sa Pro Gaming Series, which is RGH. Uh, RGH. Unfortunately, relegated po sila, like fully relegated. They won't be even playing against the top uh, built over spiders. The first place, uh -oh. the very first what place happens? here. Uh -oh. We'll uh, get that slot, immediately get that slot. Yes, ayun po. So, out of that 8 teams, okay, etong slot mismo dito na nawala ng Rebirth Gamer hub. Yan po yung makukuha ng maglalaban for the Battle for First and that is on our second matchup which is to be played by Asian Arena and G1. Meanwhile, on our first best of three between Infuse Esports and Explicit Hardcore Gaming, ang paglalabanan nila ay kung sino yung iiwas sa parang, you know, can be said na higher ranking team sa ating PGS. Ganito po yon. So kung sino yung manalo between Explicit Esports versus Infuse Esports, ang makakalaban nila ay yung lower seeded team, yung number 6 which is Team Manila Eagles. At yung mananalo, right? Yung matatalo naman, ang mga kalaban nila would TNC. be TNC, yeah. okay? Fifth place. Fifth place, fifth place. The, you know, uh, yung mga teams na, among all the relegated teams natin, sila yung pinaka-threatening. Now, again, mentioning naman yung battle for first natin, ladies and gentlemen, yung matatalo doon, ang mga kalaban naman noon ay yung Emperor Esports. Yeah, Emperor Esports. Uh, number seven. And of course, the, uh, the champion, champion of Piltover's finest auto qualified sa PGS. Yes, so, yun, definitely yun. a lot at stake because yeah. you don't want to face up against that pro team getting into PGS before getting into PGS. Rather. What's so interesting? Thing, yeah. What's interesting is that by tonight, by oh yeah, pag kita tayo ng gabi, syempre, meron na tayong bagong PGS team. Mm. Sino kaya doon sa dalawang 'yon? Will it be G1? Will it be Asian Arena? Two major i cafes, okay? Alam natin 'yan. Mula na yung isa G1 from Guadalupe pa 'yan, 'di ba? Ladies and gentlemen, and alam ko maraming mga fans sa mga viewers na nanonood ngayon. So be sure to cheer for your team. But bago tayo pumunta diyan, Explicit Esports versus Infuse Esports Atlas do the drafting phase. Let's get into the drafting phase. We are on 7.8. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, but Saya and Rakan are disabled. You can use Galio though. Yes. Which is going to be interesting. I think Galio he has been turned uh, a little turned down a little bit. Yes, yes, uh, on the updates. But he might see a lot, uh, some play here, depending mm -hmm. on the compositions. But looking at the bands from Infuse, they don't want to deal with either top lane or jungle. Gragas, Karma also very annoying. Lots of poke there and utility mm -hmm. in the bot lane. Jarvan the fourth. Uh, I've, we've seen Jarvan the fourth some play top lane, just full on lethality assassination. Yes. Uh, the jungle as well. So really taking away a lot of flexible picks. While on the side of Explicit, they don't want to deal with any junglers. The Rengar is out, the Lee Sin is out, which we saw a lot of play in GPL. And Graves as well, one of the most powerful uh, junglers, carry junglers we have uh, in this meta. So, of course, Infuse. Oh, so we are playing on the six-band system, mm. so three bands for each team. It's going to be 
the Malsahar support makes coming you, for Infuse. Makes you really curious. Ano yung jungle pickup dito ng explicit esports? Kasi ang lakas ng focus nila sa jungle. And on the first rotation, they'd be emphasizing the jungle the ju jungle pickup. Hovering on this uh, Rek'Sai. The Rek'Sai is very yeah. consistent. So yes. uh, if they do take this away from Infuse, mm. it's going to be very good for them. Yeah. Uh, they take away the Assassins. But they put in uh, someone with very, lots of map pressure. Mm. But uh, then again, Infuse can still pick up the Elise or the Kha'Zix. Yeah, Kha'Zix is uh, still available. Elise is still available. I'm really curious what is the necessity on revealing your jungle. Especially if, if you've invested three jungle buns early on. Mm. Uh, I mean, three jungle buns pa lamang to. Kung meron man jungle buns na magagaling sa Infuse, hindi naman ganun ka-popular yung Jarvan. Gragas can be, pero hindi pa rin ganun ka-depleted yung jungle yeah. pickup to, really think... jung jung to really prioritize a jungle, to really prioritize and picking a jungle or revealing your jung jungler first on this rotation but rather yep explicit esports would do otherwise gonna be securing that track side indeed. it's gonna be the rise mm. as well there was a little quality of life change with rise in 7.8 mm -hmm. now the cooldown reduction for his spells past them rather when they hit their targets yes. so i think that's uh, it helps laggy players yeah, but i yeah. think it also helps uh those with like low ping and high mechanics a mm. lot uh, uh, more as well but they are picking up a very safe jungler here taking it away uh, is going to be the wreck side. Lots of yes. map pressure early. And being I'm able to move, maneuver around the map. Very fast, clear. Really curious as well. The uh, wreck side getting locked in here. But there's gonna be the Kha'Zix. <laughs> okay? Kha'Zix from I'm, I'm really curious because, you know, uh, uh, one lesson I've learned here, I think it was a fight between Minaski and IPT. Mm. Uh, IPT actually did pick up, I think, uh, Kha'Zix pick. Uh, Kha'Zix pick. Tapos may wreck side yung kabila. And, think, well, it's yeah. not really a hard counter for Kha'Zix. But we do know the mechanic that when Kha'Zix jumps, it can easily, you know, he, you can easily ka knock up that, uh, and, that yeah. lead by Kha'Zix. Uh, their support, I think that it's it would be good for Explicit to pick up a Lulu here. It's not banned out. Yeah. Still very powerful. It yes. counters assassinations uh, like a from lot. Kha'Zix as well. And yes. it will also save someone from... The, uh, the void gaze coming from the yes, Malzahar. Yes. So I, I am expecting that fifth pick Lulu after they lock this in. Mm. So it's far gonna it's be, it might be the top lane Fizz. Yeah, and it's really working so well here. So, so far sa pacing ng ating drafting things, ladies and gentlemen, it's working really well para sa uh, explicit Explicit. Esports. Uh, let's see. Uh, again, napaka-formidable na pick din ng isang Fizz, especially with the update on his W way, way back on 7.5. Yeah, it's and a lot more tr uh, short-term trade oriented. Mm -hmm. And... Come on, it's gonna be Ignite. Uh, yeah. Ignite teleport with Grasp of the Undying Fizz, building into the Triforce. Yes. That's so difficult to take down, but he deals so much damage. Was Rice touch the 7.8? Mm, yes, 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 yes. There's a little okay. bit of quality of life, quality for, of life to help oh, laggy yes. players, but because I think so it also far, helps. Oh, so yeah. far, because si Rise has been has received since simula 7.5, I've received, I've received yata two series of nerfs. Yeah. That's one, and has you know based on on one of, yeah. One know, of the biggest is the on databases. Ang yeah. performance ng ni Rise, but on lower tier, on lower level of play, in higher level of play, okay, pa rin naman. Now I'm really curious with that kind of 7.8 update. Will it, it help rise here on this game? Because so far, it's explicit hard, explicit esports. They yeah. have a nice run of draft here, and the only one, the only one I'm really curious is how will rise work here. Maybe there there might be a better uh, mid lane in the hands of a Syndra, maybe or uh, yeah. an Oriana. I think if they're going to try for this rise, it's not about the damage you can bring out. Of course, still lots of damage. Mm -hmm. Nabago lang naman. Uh, the biggest change I think is the duration of the root, which is actually mm -hmm. pretty big considering how Rise's kit works. But if they're going to use the ultimate correctly, mm. being able to pro uh, pressure and uh, rotate around the map together with the Fresh Lantern, mm -hmm. uh, Dark Passage, and the Rek'Sai there. Void Rush, mm. it might be very effective. But it's going to be the fresh pickup for Explicit. I really would have uh, recommended a Lulu because of how much value you can gain from the extra health. And but I'm very interested as well on a Fizz Renekton matchup. I'm really interested. Because mm. for the most part, early on, Renekton can really dominate the top yes. lane. Very capable he's of doing what he wants. Yeah, bully by definition. If you don't trade with him, he's, he just secures those CS easily without uh, having to, uh, to worry about his mana. Tapos nakakakuha pa siya ng Fury stacks niya. But what we'll have here is gonna be the range of Rise, Rise in the top lane, and Renekton, which is another interesting matchup. I'm really curious oh, then. Okay. okay, if this Rise pulls through in, in, in the top lane, kung hindi gagawin talaga yung swap. Because, yes, I, I do like uh, putting a Fizz to face Atalia. Yeah. Uh, I think that's one matchup that I'd put my cards in, in favor of the Fizz. Yeah, it might be an adaptation coming from yeah. uh, Explicit. But I don't know. Yeah. We yes. can't really know if it's like intentional. Mm. But it might be, it's very good to flex these two champions together. That might be part of their game plan. So that Flash Ignite 
will be very effective there in the mid lane yes, against and Atalia. What is dangerous here really is that for Infuse Esports, I really hope, lalo pa alam natin, that Infuse Esports is a home for really good junglers. Yeah. Hechizo, my friend, diba? Mm, Hechizo. Uh, now, I'm really curious kung, uh, what about this, the new jungler from Infuse, can he like uh, take on the shoes of someone who has made a mark in the name of Infuse, which is Hechizo, on this classics, lalo pa ang kaharap niya nga ngayon, there's a Rek'Sai sa kabila. Again, I'm not saying it's a one-sided match. It's just that there's an obvious mechanic, counter mechanic against Kha'Zix done by the right side. He's not gonna to be up to the pressure. Well. Oh, not to mention the trash is there as well. Ang sakit sa ulo mag Kha'Zix kapag may trash yung The peel is na. just way too good. Very punishing. But I do think that uh, I still think that Lulu might be more punishing against this oh, yes. composition. Yes, I'm curious. So I don't know right. why they picked it up. Instead, opting for the wife steal Lucian, um, <laughs> <laughs> wife steal Lucian <laughs> thresh lane. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's interesting uh, to so also look. Wife steal. Yeah. Wife steal. Come on. Wife steal. Come okay. on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and besides, he builds Blade of the Ruined King versus Wife steal, uh, Life steal. Oh yeah, so okay. But yeah, top lane I think will be an interesting matchup. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be Rise versus Renekton. Maybe uh, Rise's range can help him a bit. He also has a root to prevent the slice and dice. Yes. But if Renekton gets a kill or out pressures the rise is going to be a hard time for him Indeed, he can just get slashed down cut in half bisected yes and uh, of course with regards to the 7.8 patch ladies and gentlemen hindi ganon kasaya yung mga players natin because they cannot play these new champions yeah. really coming in from 7.8 rakan and sayang nga, as we mentioned uh, they're bad okay for our finals here in the field over and so, speaking of sayang yes. rakan mm -hmm. it's like they have a lot of uh, I, like uh, what like just outside of the game, okay. Like there, yeah. There's an event. Rather, if you gift Saya and Rakan using na, IP, you, you get an icon. If you get the bundle, and you also get an icon. Yeah, there, there's lots of and noise you, about yeah, the Saya and Rakan. If you play together with someone in a match made game, uh -oh. you also get an icon. So that's three icons for oh. two champions. Sayang lang na yung excited. profile mo kasi isang icon lang yung pwede. So, sobrang dami ng, <laughs> sobrang dami ng icon, di ba? Pwede bang mag-combine mag, ano, mag ng icon or something like that? But, you know guys, again, as an yeah. update sa mga summoners natin na hindi pa alam yun, you can give someone a Saya or Rakan and what would happen is that you get yourself an icon. And again, as Atlas has mentioned, if you play along with a Saya or a Rakan, ganon, yeah. when you're using the partner champion as well, Saya or Rakan, then you get In an match icon. Game, so Mat match bot game, game or normal game will yes. work. Um, you and also get if you get the bundle for the cosmic okay. Dawn and Dusk Rakan mm -hmm. plus the two champions, which uh -huh. I think if you don't own Rakan or Saya, it will be seven hundred one. Yes. So you also get that icon as well. I I'm really curious. I mean, sana ni release tum bundle to for February talaga. Kasi, you know, yeah, it really fits couples. In like the way it works, you give someone uh, a champion and you know, like your partner can give you back the the Rakan, de ba? Or maybe balik tad. I mean, I don't want to be like uh, discriminating when it comes to the gender here. Pero sometimes, sometimes guys, minsan, I do know some couples, which is ang ADC. Kasi mo, mas madalas, ang pinapalaro ng support is yung babae. Pero I do know some couples na yung ADC yung babae. At yeah, yung I know some really yeah. powerful AD carries who are girls. But yes. I don't think mm. the gender really matters. I mean, yes. there could be like a guy, actually, guy, it's just, or it's just girl, an interesting. Couple. It's just an interesting yeah. mechanic. Because we do know naman that the support there is actually Rakan, the guy, mm. ba? And Saya is the girl. And... I like that kind of decision, really. Yeah. It ed diversifies ed things. Edgy oh. Saya. Edgy and then <laughs> Easy Rakan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, niya si, ano, yung sa How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, Barney. Barney. Barney, yes. Barney yeah. Stinson. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do, Harris, think, I do yes. think he has a line as well that references that. References that. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. I have never watched How I, I Met I'm Your really Mother. I'm really excited actually to see him competitively. I, you know, I'm patient enough to not see him on the Piltovers finals, but sana sa, sa, sa PGS, there might be, might be, we're still, might you know, be. reading the meta right now of how does these two lovers fit. Yeah, I think Rakan would be strong, yeah, even without know, Saya. Yeah, I'm not so sure about Saya, but Rakan, the kit that he provides. So good. I think very interesting. Even yeah. without Saya. Yes. I think Saya is a way to, I mean, she can put out a lot of damage, but mm -hmm. I think she needs a lot of setup. So Which, compared to other AD carries, is that like a statement not. that you don't need a Saya for your Rakan? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably! You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> JK, JK. Yeah, I, I know. Pot, pot, pot I know someone is, uh, is watching. Anyway, pot ladies and gentlemen, as a history, again, Infuse Esports and yes. Explicit Esports, they've been back and forth. Yeah. Dito sa We've seen, they, are, they are familiar names. Lagi. If you watch PGS before, oh, if you watch Piltover's oh. Finest as well. Oh, oh, lagi silang naglalaro sa Piltover's mm. Finest. <laughs> sanay na sanay na sila dyan. Hindi na rin surprise na makita natin sila sa finals. And they are a team who's been able to top PGS itself, di ba? Naglaro na rin yan. Explicit Esports, if I'm not mistaken, they've actually had this run of the Explicit Hardcore Gaming yes. Yes, uh, for PGS. And of course, alam natin, Infuse Esports as well. They had actually interesting, uh, interesting matchup. 
up a team fight oriented team and indeed as we are here in the game the first match for the piltovers finals finest finals ayan ladies and gentlemen to be played between infuse esports versus explicit esports again guys this match determines who will have an easier way papasok sa ating pgs as they are set to face the relegated teams in the pgs i mean uh, playing the promotionals ng mga teams yes. not necessarily fully relegated uh, which is ang nag-aantay sa kanila would be uh, tnc and of course uh, well, team well, manila eagles flash, and that? flash one minute 12 seconds into the game, what yeah. was that? That was an invade coming from Pio in the top lane yes. right here, as well as Yato, uh, Yato uh, going over the mid lane. Actually, I've never, I've have, oh my god, he actually takes away the first blood. Very dangerous uh, positioning there coming from Predicted, gives away first blood and giving it to the mid laner as well. Quite dangerous, but coming into this game. Uh, just looking at how the teams play their level ones. Look at these invades coming from Don. One, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, indeed, just, very aggressive actually. Kasher pa nila dito yung mga void links Jisoo. ng ni Don on this Malzar. That's a lot of damage. Yes. That's a lot of damage indeed. on that jungler. You're gonna hurt his clear a little bit, but of course, Rexai has that innate sustain mm -hmm. with a queen with a passive being able to just you know, borrow down and then sustain up. But that does hurt, and indeed. I have not seen this kind of aggressive invades. In GPL, yes. <laughs> uh, in GPL, we, we everyone's like playing safely in their one in their level ones. But now, Infuse versus XCS, just straight up uh, trying to get go for gold just in the level ones and getting some value out out of it. Infuse gets the first blood, explicit, really slows down and then her, uh, yeah. Chunks. But there might be a trade up here, an exhaust to put here by Don. But of course, he's level one only. But of these two teams. Are setting up the aggression, knowing that anytime they get a spike oh, for the level the two, gets him explicit. Esports, ladies and gentlemen, that set is the Dominion that hindi kailangan pero pero na kuhanya parin yung kill against uh, one SO here against Infuse Esports. That's going to be uh, quite a mechanical mistake coming from Pero, but they do end up getting the kill. They got the early level two, which was more important oh, than anything else. Oh, as well here in the mid lane. One flash in by Yato and an exhaust. Avarisha is done. Yep, just make sure that Avarisha cannot run away. Uh, Burns ignite, but yeah, coming into that bot lane fight mm -hmm. uh, to analyze it, uh, it, Dawn did burn the exhaust there quite early. Yes. So that means that once uh, once Atabs and Pero got the level two spike, that was an easy kill, even with a missed death sentence. Just go mm -hmm. in there, flash flay. The rest of the damage coming from uh, the Lucian will take care of that, of course. Uh, and the range. The range of predicted not enough to actually yeah. yep, transition into any advantages, but going there in the bot lane. Uh, chase down here by JS00. Zero zero. He still has three bu bullets on. Last two, the fourth bullet, but of course, Pero nandun pa rin bilang Pero against the blue side team. Here comes Pio, gets the Q. Pio will go for Pero as well. It's a double kill for the Kha'Zix. 5 1 in Fuse Esports. And that looked like an overcommitment coming from Jisoo, but the way that the bot lane played that was way rough. Not minding that Pio might be going down there because that was quite an extended fight there in the bot lane. A yeah. lot of time for Pio to go down there. And could as well that Avarisha is actually scouting the red side jungle here. Maybe planning on taking a peek up or a face checking uh, Pio on his own jungle. And you could see there, there's the jump. Yato again, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, maybe Avarisha would be the first one to die in the hands of Yato between these two uh, champions. Matching up in the mid lane, pero still I, I would give it on the Fizz. He really yeah, has fizz. lots of kit to counter. This Talia. Meanwhile, as we mentioned, Kanina, it is a real bird. That's gonna be Stella knock up on Yato and Fizz. Oh. One last kill ladder. It's still a one for one under turret. Might be a two for one. Oh, three. minion hits. Minion hits. There's the regeneration. Okay, he does gets have, the kill. Yeah, he did level up and use okay. a corrupting potion to survive yeah. that, but. Man, that was so dangerous coming from Satella. It actually dies for that. I don't think that was worth it. Uh, it did give Avarisha a kill. However, that's going to be a, a little bit of more advantages coming for Yato. Though he uh -huh. is behind two waves in terms of Sia. So that is a trading put, uh, threat coming from Avarisha. Not letting Yato just free hit and free CS easily. But that is a gank coming from Satella. It did not end well for him. A lot of yeah. AD damage will be brought oh, here by Infuse Esports. But look at that. That's going to be Pio once again. Iriga flashed the die and predicted. Definitely did not know that Kha'Zix would be arriving there. 
So it's seven. Yeah. Two. It's okay. gonna be a zero three yeah. rise here. Actually building the boots in the tier. So that yes. means no combat stats, cannot trade yeah. at all against this Renekton Flash to die. So that just means that Flash to Die will have a lot more pressure, will just completely out-trade and kill Predicted every time. So I don't think that itemization, while it will help him in the long run, uh, I think it's going to be the wrong run here coming yeah. from Predicted. And it's going to be an overwhelming snowball in top lane here. That's going to be at the hubs. Ang sakit ng damage yan from the Malefic Visions, ladies and gents. Good thing that it's not on a max level. Here comes Atala, though. trying his best. One third hit may be put in a nine on this Jin. They're still targeting Atoms here. Ooh. Gets the kill and Jin one for one. Now on to Dawn. Pero may go down. Pero he, he will be surviving. There's the teleport still. Sayas and Hunter. That's going to be the Talia's ultimate. And Yato arrives in the scene. Stella here is going to be Satella here is going to be left for dead. Flash in and flash not to die but to kill. It's a two for one. Big favor for Infusing Sports. Mm -hmm. The worst part of there is Flash to die was able to teleport down there freely. Get more kills and gold. But really no, no reason for Atabs to just try and go for that one last yeah. shot. Sorry, it's not actually a two for one. It's uh, I think it's a three for two. Mm. In favor and of really, At Atabs trying to go for that greedy kill uh, yeah. against Jisu means that he just dies straight up. And the rest of the team uh, just gets piled on by the, the Weaver's wall as well to cut off uh, Satella. He does have the burrow, but in the end, that's a cooldown of mobility burn just to get over that. And he still dies for it. And actually, Renekton already won top lane. Yeah, he did. So... You know, if he wants to assert his lead further, knowing that just uh, keep going for that predicted would just play it. You know, he can just play it conser conservatively, get farm under turret. You know, plus with the range na available uh, on the rise, it is intuitive that flash to die would be teleporting and would be influencing the other lanes. Yeah. Makita mo predicted has his teleport up, knowing that he cannot take that fight. Yeah, he can't take that uh. fight even if he has a teleport. If they, if the two top laners match with teleports, uh, yeah, flash to die is just gonna destroy him and predicted. As I said, no combat stats just yet. This finishes the catalyst now. So he's just going to, he's just going to continue getting pushed in by Flash to die, who has the Tiamat. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think he's building that into Ravenous. He is indeed. And that's just going to make him a lot harder. He's going to have to farm under turret because he doesn't have combat stats. He has to burn his cooldowns, his yep. mana on minions to try and last hit them, which means Flash to die. He might have an easier time diving here. It's going to be XES trying to go for a gank here on Yato. Okay, it's only by sidestepping that dead set that's going to Yato outplay this one. May buy time for his teammates to arrive. That's gonna be the lantern. Let's see if Don does he have the flash? Yes, but not in range to connect that ultimate. Yeah, and he's still level five. Another part of the map, flash to die. Managed to kill the Rexai Satella here. Oh, here he Gone. goes. Now that's gonna be pure. A rotation in the top lane. There's gonna be the rise. Tries <laughs> to escape. Flash in. <laughs> Didn't the mechanics, mm. ladies and gents. And yes, another casualty falls into the hands of this rampaging crocodile. Maybe an alligator in the hands of the Q's. That was uh, a little clever coming from Predicted, but Flash to Die Predicted, he does want to flash into there. Yep, of course. How do you outplay that Talia? Again, lots of damage. Dodge all of his damage. And put us in the basket of mastery. Yeah. Playful Trickster just dodges a lot of Talia's damage. Problem, oh. And there in the top lane, just uh, Predicted got Predicted the flash into his own Realm Warp means that he, get, he is cancelled. It's going to be the Void Gaze It's time here. to go all in. The fourth bullet, where is that? One final Q. And that's going to be Alparicia going down another part of the map. Nandito na si Satella gets the knock of the bomb. Duo, nang infusing even predicted would be joining the fight. And that is explicit momentum in the bot lane. Getting two members in exchange for one. Actually, ibang parte yung kaya so that's actually 2 for 0 just in the bot lane. 2 for 0 in the bot lane. Uh, yeah, very overconfident coming from Don and Jisoo. But it does buy a lot of time for Flash to die. A lone time here in the top lane, extend his lead against Predicted. The red buff will help him a little bit in clearing those waves. And especially against that tower. Mm -hmm. So it has to pull two members. It's going to be Predicted and Pero there in the top lane to defend against Flash to die. It's going to try for it. Yeah, they are fine here. here. Flash to die. Uses the Dominus, but there's gonna be the box lots of CC just to lock him down under turret. Another kill the, goes yeah, to battle. Look at all his damage, though. Imagine if that fight happened outside of third range. Yes. It would have been a 2v1 yeah. double kill for Flash to die. I agree. That is the power, but yes, indeed. Very uh, good play there for XES to take that kill. Indeed. It's gonna be the Mountain Drake being taken by kill, contested by Satella. Oh, that's gonna be the fight here, ladies and gentlemen. What did you get it? Refuse esports, the blue side team. Curtain call from this Jin Satella is gonna be left for the three members. Focus fighting on him, not gonna be needing the fourth bullet even. And that's gonna be the dragon and the jungler in the hands again on the infuse. 
10 minutes, Mountain Drake gives him a little bit of a lead here that is going to be a 2.2k lead in favor of, actually, no, 3.2k lead in favor of Infuse plus at a Mountain Drake, which means that future uh, Drakes and future objectives will be easier for them. It seems like they can still snowball this lead, but Viato needs to be very careful here. Uh, that sentence Ooh. doesn't even need the sidestep, actually. He tries to predict the sidestep. Yato there will walk it's away. Over predicted. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that is uh, oh, gonna be bad here really for the so. Gene. All in combo. Two Armalites landed onto him. One AD, one magic. And he's at a teleport burned mm -hmm. by Flash and Die. Does not want to risk it because when, once he starts giving more kills to predicted it's going to be very hard for him to continue his lead he's going to continue here in the mid lane yeah. against uh, the same duo that rotations are very now. very intuitive <laughs> here and of course Quartet. a kill squad here Quartet indeed by explicit <laughs> esports really not even allowing flash to die to dance he doesn't even need to flash actually just to die there so yeah it seems like momentum is now in the hands of xes uh, because in a fuse, the rotations are not there. But whenever Explicit has something to do with these three-man, four-man, there's no response, there's no trade-away. Yeah. Uh, it seem, but it seems like when it comes to these skirmishes, like 3 v 3 or team fights, it seems like Infuse will be uh, getting the better of it. Yeah, I got a feeling that Infuse Kanina got caught off guard, but this time managed to actually get in the tempo, get a pick up on Predicted, still behind for this game 2 5 1. So behind, 2 5 1. Yes, he's, on his he's just slowly scaling up. He has a catalyst, yes, he has a tier of the goddess, yes, still. That is so slow to rev up. 12 minutes into the game, now he's a combat stats here. See, si, ano, si, uh, Predicted. He has a little bit of mana, the blasting wand will help a little bit. But yeah, uh, it's, it seems like looking at the, how the game is being played right now, when it's a straight up fight, Infuse will win. But in terms of rotation, it seems like a, uh, Explicit has a small edge over Infuse. Edge. Of course, now there's gonna be Pio Yo. scouting Satella. The damage, of course, <laughs> isolation as they their fear in the bleed. Plus Thunderlord. Yes, like Thunderlord as well with the W combined. Seems like he might need to back off here because it seems like Don and Jisoo are not completely pushing it in. Of course, Jin, one of, the, uh, one of a slow pusher, AD carry. Yeah. If Pyo does not get out of there quick, he might be in a little bit of trouble here. For some reason, they're trying to magnetize members here of Explicit Esports. Predicted actually Happy. teleported in an awkward spot here. <laughs> Pwede sa Tri-Brush, napunta sa Rip Herald, mga kaibigan. Who are is that, ladies and gents? Here we go, another fight! And Avarisha puts in the Playful Trickster, gets a pick up on Dawn. Now onto the Jin, up by the Rek side. He did a double kill against the bottom duo here of Infuse Esports. Dead sentence, flash to die, sidestep. It Yato in the back line, flanking Talia, mga kaibigan on the front line. That's gonna be flash to die. So we have damage plus three members here of Explicit Esports. Dominating na yung Kha'Zix as he isolates the Thresh, gets the kill. But look at that, that's gonna be Atabs. And Atabs ka rin dito as Flash to die would walk away. The Dominus will be gone in a short while. Yato receiving a lot of damage, but they're still kiting away against the three-man squad here of Explicit Esports in the end. I think that's actually a uh, slight lead there by Explicit Esports. Yeah, they uh, do catch them out, uh, split them apart. Uh, because they were, it seems like they were too focusing too much on Pio, so that pulls the aggro from Flash to die. What happened there is that they just gave up. They all yeah. One, okay. two. Saluhin lahat no, the three did not connect. Okay, but still, that's gonna be should be and not maybe the exhaust though, oh. as Atab still has the relentless pursuit. Now that third bullet had it connected, could have been the kill. What am I watching? I'm not so sure, ladies and gentlemen, but this is the Pilt Overs Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, played between Infuse Esports versus Explicit Esports. Now, going back to the game, Dion, I'm really curious because oh, the be like ultimate the doon pa nag-miss. Yung critical, that's going to be Atabs now on the Rampage, puts in the badge, gets the kill on Dawn, that sentence. Muntik ng masalo dito ng ating Jin. Still, Atabs is here to fight on 200 life mark. Stella here gets dropped on by Pio, knowing na hindi na makakarespond yung Atabs ng kabila. But look at that, that's going to be Avaricia. Scaring them away. Scaring them away, just gauging if can he make the leap, can he make the jump? How will he escape? Where is the jump the waters? A big, big and actually prolonged standoff here in the mid lane. It's just going to be open mid for both teams yeah. right now. Yes. Just rushing it, running it down mid. Uh, like, let's look at the replay of the fight that happened earlier. Yes, Don. Uh, they just give up chasing top lane, mm -hmm. which means that they have a 4v2 here in the mid lane. And that's actually very easy kill by the books, uh, one would say. Here comes Flash to die. Uh, much of it, just he was away from the rest of the team, helping out Pyo. 
So I think that was a good rotation from XCS. Just give up on those two kills that are not sure and just go for the surefire two kills here in bot lane. And mid lane for the bot laners. I mean, it's kind of anybody's game really for some interesting reason as 17-15 is in our scoreboard. Yato here gets jump and Stella along with the aid of Atabs. The badge is still there. Atabs gets the kill against the mid laner. Don, he gets Don Don up, gets a red sentence as well. And Atabs, he is here. Stella secures the, Satella secures the kill. Just so too easily in the hands of Explicit. It's actually, this game is pretty even <laughs> so far. Uh, before, Infuse had a little bit of a lead, but seems like they threw it uh, coming into even with XCS, uh, the Mountain Drake being the only one that separates the two teams. And with a small 1k gold lead at this point in the game, if you're in a little bit of trouble, has to flash out. What do you think? Ano yung conditions dito para yung isang team makalamang talaga? Kasi right now, parang it's anybody's game for really interesting reasons here. But Avarisha willing to take the trade up on Flash to Die. Flash to Die here is also staying oh, to die. One last W gets the jump. Playful Trickster. Very interesting decision to stay there in the top lane, but yeah. look at that, that's gonna be the members of Explicit Esports. This time, initiating for the Mountain Drake. Can Pyo make the jump? Can Pyo make the steal? Do they know that Pyo is there? Yeah, Let's he see. isn't uh, Kha'Zix. Okay, but he showed himself. Yeah, does not want to take that risk. Okay. But yeah, looking at the win conditions for both teams, they want uh, pickoffs here. Yes. Both teams want pickoffs. Yeah. Yato has the Weaver's Wall, can cut people off for both Flash to Die and Pyo. Um, the Void Gaze, of course, very powerful, just point-and-click suppression, uh, leaving Jisoo to just be able to uh, free hit. Indeed, that's going to be... Are they cold here? Yeah. The Deflurious, first bullet this time on Satella, second bullet on Atabs. What bullet, of course, you'd like, want yeah. to connect that on Just to push point. them away from the turret, seems. Indeed. But uh, on the side of XES, they ha also have a lot of tools to pick people off. They have the fresh death sentence. Uh, Avarisha has a lot of burst down his belt, picking up the Gunblade here, the Hexec Gunblade. And they can rotate very well with the Realm Warp, plus mm -hmm. the speed the, the speed and the pressure, the map, the rotations that can be made with Void Rush. Mm -mm. So they, both of these teams, they need to be able to pull the trigger and hit the, hit the target right. If they don't, the other team can counterattack. This config should actually work in favor of Infuse in the sense that they could allow uh, Yato here to split push and he can easily rotate for this game. Yes, yes, they do have that power as well to split push. But uh, do note that um, Predicted doesn't need to be the one to respond That's to the Split thing, Pushes. Yeah. Yeah. I think Avarisha has a better chance of stopping Split Pushes, both from Flash to Die and from Yato. Yeah. So if they, if so, if they, uh, if Avarisha can match a Split Push, any Split Push coming for Infuse is going to be a hard time yeah. for that Split Pusher. I mentioned this should be in favor of Infuse, but actually this is working in favor of PC at uh, Esports, knowing that they are rolling a one to one conflict, but not gonna be nice as Pero it be receiving might be the fourth bullet did not connect as Flash to Die may not have the help to withstand. He's that defending this alone right yes. now. Here comes Satella waiting in the wings. That's the thing. Uh, and the pa respond dyan, ang explicit. Actually, they're on their way, but oh. Yata would be surfing early. <laughs> Predicted. Did not predict that. That's gonna be Pyo joining the fight. Gets the damage on Yato, but the distance is there. Predicted would go down. Now this is gonna be South Paras infused as. Ah, Flash to die here, gets collapsed on, and Satella being the tank that he Ooh. needs to be, as Yato is now gone, but Atabs here receives the ultimate coming in from Dawn. You can see Satella going down, and Avarisha will do the work in the back line. Now it's pure versus Avarisha. Avarisha has his cooldowns up, needs to flash in. Can he outplay the chases down there by Flash to die, chasing Pero. Oh, he actually Shot takes down, down Pio. Outplay! Na hindi natin nakita, but it's okay. At, as Flash to die, just warded off uh, Pero. So in the end, it's like, actually... An it's still, almost even trade. Yeah, it's an even trade oh, here. A little bit of outplay yes. coming from Xyz. No objectives gained from that. It seems like it seems like Flash and Die will push this in a little bit uh, to try and trade some gold. It's gonna be both teams sitting at 3.6, uh, 336k total gold. The kills are also even. No objectives gained so far. But then, uh, this looks to be what yeah. happened? Uh, it seems like they were focusing a lot on Flash to die, Atabs being able to just free hit. But now, because the Lantern was taken by, by hey, Stella, it means that uh, uh, that the AD carry for Explicit was left alone in the yeah. front line. Here comes Avarisha, though. Yes. Look, at, look at how much damage he's able to bring out. He's ver on the verge of dying, flashes away, yeah. gets slowed by the... Uh, yeah, that really... 
did it for him. Yeah, exactly. Playful Trickster to, uh, to remove the damage from Leaf. Oh. Uh, being untargetable as well is pretty big. And we can just see how he economized yes. his cooldown during that time. So he just used his uh, uh, Playful Trickster to burn someone before focusing on Kha'Zix. Yeah, has so to flash really away to, to flash save away. some time. Yeah, to save some time. And then Sakto dun sa leap. Sakto oh, dun sa leap. We don't know who is Abrisha anyway. He's actually a consistent contender. He's yes. top one that yeah, I've uh, seen him before. Uh, really good player. Now here in the top lane, that's going to be Yato going down against Predicted. Here for you as well, losing a lot of firepower. Molasses, DC Esports, can he withstand? No, he won't. Receives the dead sentence, so receives the kill. And the finishing blow, Malaka Atoms. It's a 3 d run, ladies and gentlemen, but Dark will save. Maybe puts in a boy, needs to aid their team. Their crocodile in their team. Now, let's see. Flash to die. He has no help on this one. That is still a three-man squad. The Mangagaling Molasses, Predicted Esports. All they need is to tag this in. Gets the knock up! Will they reach that sentence? Mulakay Pero, but he's yeah, still not using no that mana. one. Atom has no mana for the chase, for the relentless pursuit. No kill for that. It's still a 1 for 2, though. Explicit esports. It seems like Avarisha, uh, if he had rotated there early enough, it would have been a double kill for him. But uh, despite his name, he won't be that greedy. Just no. takes the surefire uh, first tier turret for against Infuse. Yes, uh, Avarisha is Latin for Avarice. greed. greed. Uh, yeah. Man, yeah. rest in peace, Avarice Blade. No, Avarice. Oh uh, man, I that, wonder that how many of our viewers remembers that item, Avarice Blade. No? Uh, ask your viewers which <laughs> one of them remembers Heart of Gold and Force of Nature. <laughs> 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 That's some season two stuff. You're redeeming our age. Oh man, man. Rest in peace. Heart of Gold, rest in peace. Yeah. But Parts. it's going to be Yato and Jisoo taking this mid lane turret, trading it against Explicit, but with that. Uh, small fight there uh, throughout the map. It's gonna be a 3k lead coming from I uh, Explicit Esports. Indeed, man. And you could see <laughs> here. This rise tier is still not full, actually. Uh, 22 minutes has not have enough t had enough time to transition it into Arcane. pace was very short, actually. <laughs> yeah. For they just opened mid. It's just like, Jisoo. <laughs> Stay in the mid lane. Yeah. Take the fights. Make the rotation. So <laughs> it wouldn't be a surprise. Uh, so that would prompt. I would be expecting uh, Predicted to actually split push it up. Should he oh, want Atav, that kill to secure the stacks on his third of the guys? It's going to be Bjorn in back line. Atav's going to get the kill. Not quite. Did not reach Yato. Shut down there by Bjorn. Redemption as well to sustain the blue side team. Infuse is here. Yato puts in a Weaver's Wall to Karam Pero here. At Pokam Pero na lang din ipuhay niya. Avarisha goes for the dive. Where is the Playful Streakster? Can he make a kill? He gets shot down. And that is once again Infuse control. Almost a Nyx as four chaos is exchanged for one. That's this is a really bouncy game. It's gonna be Pia taking away the Ocean Break. Not as much value as the Mountain Break. Um, but both of these teams do have that. But uh, uh, that was an overcommitment coming from Explicit, especially from Atabs trying yeah. to go for Yato. He did not mind that the exhaust was not down. Pia was also there for the rotation. If he had just free hitted for his team, weaving in and out of the battlefield, mm -mm. it would have been maybe a win for Explicit Esports. This is a very bloody match. As you mentioned, the Ocean Break doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't fit the comps here. These are uh, skirmish comps. Yeah. You know, pick up comps. It seems like uh, Avarisha oh, earlier burned his... Into siege yeah. comps, yeah. na kung saan Ocean Break yung effective. They you know, burned... These two yeah. teams, they deserve Infernal Drakes each. Yeah, and they want they really want <laughs> Infernal Drakes. But with the amount of Drakes, they can have a little bit of an easier time taking the Baron. Yeah. Seems like they will want to lay down the vision around there. They are dancing a little bit around that pit. Because um, both of these teams, they mm. haven't been getting objectives from their team fights. Mm. If they get Baron after a team fight, if they get a team fight uh, while they have Baron buff, it would be a much easier turret for them. Uh. I, would, I, I, that I that have to admit, it's so good. Let's see the yeah. replay, what happened there in the meeting. It looks like Atabs here just fades away from the rest of his team, trying to take down Yato, but of course, Exhaust with a Pio flashes over and helps his teammate out, which leaves the two frontliners who have no damage whatsoever against Flash to die. Uh, leaving him for for dead. Nice to Aver yeah. Avarisha here tries to play for Trickster the Weaver's Wall. Too thick. Ah. Yeah, and he, then he gets greedy. This is oh, where is the avarice gets yeah. him. Oh, uh, And Shut he down actually too. directed the play for Trickster. wall. Pati yung wall mismo ng Raptor. They, they really want, he really wants to do that diagonally. Seems like oh. Pio. Just to buy time. But there's going to be Avaricia aiding Satella here. Pio would go down. Flash today would join his teammate. 
And Avarisha would just walk away knowing that there are multiple members joining this fight. Avarisha puts in a blasting tone. Use esports as an idea where Avarisha is. Satella would walk away as well. Flash to die. Would be slice and dicing into die as well. Can he make the kill? Can he make that at least one for one? Because for sure, Atabs would get the kill. And again, as I mentioned, uh, I would admit, ang gulo ng game talaga. Like, uh, team fights back and forth. You, you, you cannot even like complete a whole replay really. Because for the same thing, don't look up to are very easy to take the fight. And it's we review that. Yes, <laughs> Indeed, that's gonna be, uh, actually, naging one for one siya. Nasecure ni Flash yes. to die. Napatay niya si Satella dito. Pick it's time for Adams though. puts in the badge, knowing that he can get a kill. A double kill pa nga. Now, maybe on Yato, actually, can they make yeah. the range? Do they have the realm warp to close the gap and catch these two members here by Infuse Esports? And alam mo, ito yung klase ng game. Na kung nakasaya rakan couple kayo, mag-aaway ka. <laughs> sobrang, yeah. you know, sobrang bugbugan. It's so bouncy. Oh, it, uh, it bounces back and forth. Oh. And this is really a fiesta. If you watch YouTube videos of league YouTubers and streamers, mm. uh, this would be like a game where... Lots of highlights. The, where, yeah, the fiesta, the Mexican fiesta music <laughs> would like come up every <laughs> single <laughs> team fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, anyway, going back, understanding this game, Mariachi. again, big cops. Yes. If we try to understand their capabilities to finish this game, I would give it, despite being behind, you know, more so, Lalpa heavily in the top lane, knowing that that tier of the goddess that's supposed to be stacked up by now, is that must my pushing power dito, ang uh, explicit esports. Yes. In the hands of the Lucian. I know, not compared to a team, compared to uh, uh, even an Ash, diba? You know, those are champions which are really good at pushing. And we know naman, ang problema kasi kay Lucian, despite the high hit rate, ang baba ng range. Yeah, 500 range really yeah. hurts him. But if you account for his front, yung, yung teammates niya, a trash is very capable on delivering Just the Lucian. Just being Lucian. able to, uh, yeah, to peel very well. Yes, to go near a turret. That's one. And what's so weird about the Jin kasi, guys, is that yung Jin naman, you know, I mean, you would give, uh, you would put Kha'Zix on someone who's been lurking around, tries to find isolated targets here. But the thing here is that the one you would assign to make for the boost, oh, the Jin, four bullets, four bullets against the turret, not good, predicted here, not good, gets the kill, or gives the kill onto Pio Atab, sticking in the dual 2v1, make that a 3v1, make that a 4v2, and both of them gets punished, the bottom doing here of explicit esports gun. Never mind, it's just like explicit. Is yeah. also throwing away uh, whatever advantages they can get by rotating around the map very yeah. poorly. Predicted yeah. alone, uh, oh, you do not want that when you're so busy. Avarisha special! One for one. It's okay. gonna be one for one, but it's still a huge win for Infuse because that means there's no one left to defend it other than Satella, yes. and he cannot do anything here. They might even get two turrets here looking at the death timers. Uh, 10 seconds, they will be brave just to transition there in the top lane. It's gonna be against Satella. Uh, 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 I have. Really have High reservations. I hope these two teams can like withstand a PGS team. Because the way you play like this, I'm not so sure. I'm really not so sure. Because it's a game that, so far, what is reflected is anything goes. Right now, explicit esports. They've been deciding more so on the on the ADC. Can oh, so they decide to take the fight without a clear tank in the front line? Right now, this is an overstaying here by Infuse Esports. Let's see if can explicit esports capitalize. They have a lot of kit to actually make this chase. But flash die here. Dominus has been used. Kapag nawala yan, napakalaking kawalan na pangharap ang hindi magagamit dito ng Infuse Esports. That's gonna be the ultimate onto Atoms. That's the Lucian. Will it be gone? Rendered useless. The reverse did not connect with a flash in and all in Pyo gets the kill on Atoms. Nawala na rin yung kanyang support. Here comes Predicted. Not predicting that his allies will be gone instantly. 3 for 0 Indeed, that is Explicit Esports taking the bait out of their favor and ang kalahan lang na NPC Sports dito a minion to push this mid lane yeah they really went in there and they failed in whatever they had uh, they wanted to do because Flash to Die being a pretty good frontline actually for Infuse. Yes. Uh, just dealing a lot of Please damage in the meantime. Not Has not scaled down yet because the advantages he had built during laning phase. He might get this inhibitor uh, inhibitor here. Yeah. Avarisha and Stella here. Okay. Too By dangerous. That window, that's gonna be very... Yeah, now you lose yeah. your front line. Yeah, Av Av Avarisha seemed to be uh, not on the same page there. Actually, uh, I think they should not engage me. Yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> a 3v4 here. Uh, yeah, Satella, Satella engaged while Avarisha was yeah. the wave. I don't think 
It should be engaged there. really. Kasi dalawa lang sila and apat yung kalaban in the front line despite me to defend this inhibitor. Right now, again, momentum dapat to mm. ng explicit esports. The but there's a reset coming in. Mula sa ating uh, ultimate. Uh, mula to sa support item players. They're gonna be the back line. Predicted going for the flank. But he sees the ultimate mula kay Don Adams. And also Avarisha cleaning up the back line as well. Hero of Infuse Esports onto Yato. On. One by one. Members of Infuse Esports are getting blocked. But it's gonna be Pio. Puts in the isolation damage. Gets the kill on Atoms. Now he's I said on Avarisha. Playful Trickster is on cooldown. Oh, Did ace. not reach the gate. That is an unofficial ace. Oh, as Kaka respond lamang. Oh, rather, naabot yung ace. Okay, a few seconds. Satella will respond. But indeed, clearly that's three fights. Three major fights won there by Infuse Esports. Yeah, it seems like Explicit is just committing to all of these fights when Flash should die. Uh, is able to turn the turn the fight completely around. Pio follows up and cleans up, and really, it's it's because they're it predicted their dope in alone yeah. without any support uh, whatsoever. Just so gets taken down. Another another solo engage here. The Demption can he survive that one? But at least that buys time. Here comes predicted. Here comes pero pero. Walang ultimate dito si predicted. Can they make the chase? That's the Q connecting onto Dawn, but. They have sizable movement speed. What can be done here is put the badge in front of the minion. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the minion how everything happened. They are trying to take, uh, they're trying to scare them away from the inhibitor, but that's just a few members. They easily get it, but they tunnel so hard on Flash to die here. They, mm -hmm. All of them dive into that, but the shields come from the lock of the islands with Iron Solari. The healing redemption. coming from the redemption yeah. resets the fight, even yes. though Dawn gets um, death sentence. He, uh, there's no follow-up from that because predicted too busy realm warping into his own death. While Jisu does die, it leaves Flash to die uh, open to just uh, help clean up here. Even though Yato gets taken down, the Dominus really helps him uh, take these kills here, distract him from Pio. Uh, uh, but yeah, by sign for Pio, of course, that's the evolved spikes really that's helping fine. a lot. Gets him the the proc from the Thunder Roars as well, and it's gonna be the combination of damage here ah. helping out Pio. Let's actually, Avarisha managed to uh, touch the gate. Mm. Siya dun sa gate. But the problem there is he receives the Void Spikes. There's a vision. Still and then the range. extended range oh, of the Evolve Q is okay. also there. That's the thing. Kaya pala hindi nakataas din sa Avarisha. It's gonna be a very, this is gonna be a very quick Baron here. Yeah. If they want to. That is an isolated Baron against Kha'Zix, against It would be uh, better to argue for it. That's Blizzard Esports. Gets this one. Can they make yeah, the here comes there? It's time to actually dive in. Oh, but a smile is secured there by Pio. Oh, Flash die will be leading the play. Oh. Predicted! If you see Sports predicted that, gets the kill on this rise. Now the chase of the three members is the next place it! Esports Pero! is Pero gone! Now here comes the front line. Avarisha dives in. Playful Trickster with a Q in back line. Adams tries to fight the wolves to win. Pio Pio is gone. There's the shot. And Adams in kill range now really killed. And is Zatella going for the chase oh, here on survives. the team. One last bullet. There is the reload. There's also the traps in. Okay, there's just a delay. Actually, both of them taunting. Actually, this is uh, Jin buying time. Allowing, uh, you know, uh, not allowing Zatella to just recall. But yeah, that's going to be a very clear push here. Done but yeah, by, as I uh, said, uh, after a team fight, after a pickoff and assassination, yes. anything, uh, but these teams, if they get a Baron buff, they can finish the game yeah. pretty easily. The death timers are not enough, and this is actually going to be the first win of the best of three on to Infuse side. Uh, predicted will be up here, but I don't think that's going to be enough to stop anything. Uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. There's the G. Yep. Reload lang kailangan, pero you might even need the minion. A final hit is casted there by Dodd. He gets 50 gold from the Nexus, you know. Yeah. Let's stop that one in the next game. Anyway, guys, it's a victory para sa Infuse Esports. GDWP, that's just game one in this best of three series. What, what did I just watch? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, now from an analysis point of view, it, uh, the game was very sloppy, both from both sides. Um, I don't think, uh, of course, it's if they win this, they mm. get a chance to get into PGS. Of course, all teams PGS. have a chance to get into PGS. Yeah. But with this kind of performance, uh, even against the bottom four teams, if mm. their performance mm. is like this, the context is much mm, harder. Yeah, I it's mean gonna be more difficult for them. I don't think they have a uh, great chance of getting to PGS with yes. this kind of performance. They need to fix their macro play, indeed, and mm. they need to fix their decision making during the actual team fights. Sugar coated, really. Yes. The way these decisions have been done. Imagine that fight in the mid lane. That's three. That's three. Ano? That's three fights that won there by Infuse Esports easily. Okay. Always, I always mention that uh, explicit esports are set to take and win this fight because they go overstay now Infuse Esports. But what happened yeah. there is that 
yung pasok like an example di sa tela diving in and avaricious not committing it's not actually avaricious fault it's actually you know it's a fault they do yeah they weren't in the same page yeah they, they, they could have just given that inhibitor at the worst or actually just Satella should just show himself. Not really dive. Not really dive. Just show himself. Just know, get the just threat out of there. Yeah, get the threat out there. But yeah, Kasi, the imagine that second fight. If or I think it's the third fight. Kung nandut si Satella, nung nabuhay nain tatlong members ng explicit, could be an easy game. Yeah, and mm. after all of that, I mean, it's not. That's a congratulations for the yes. first win of the best yes. of three. But they really need to fix those. Yes. Uh, coming into mm -hmm. promotionals, mm -hmm. uh, so, promos. Fully uh, understanding this, this game, what can be worked on here by explicit esports both, is that both teams actually. Uh -oh, both teams then is first decision making very important. Second would be there's a clear advantage set up by Infuse Esports, their early game. That's one. And I think kailanga makakuha ng magandang match up, at least in terms of drafting, yung top lane dito. Yeah, predicted nah, just got wrecked. Esports. Yes, he, he definitely got wrecked there. But also his guys. own individual decision making. It wasn't just a draft. Yeah. He realm warped a lot going in. He yes. was, his positioning was mm. dubious, which opened it up for pickoffs, which hurt his entire team. But that can be adjusted actually. Say isang team actually, kung, you know, if you if you think that there's a clear gap between the enemy level of play, chaka dun sa ally nyo, what you can do is actually delegate that teammate. Like mitigate. Uh, uh, delegate the, the teammate on a less uh, a aggressive role. Something that enchants your team. Something that not necessarily crucial, but a safer champion. A safer role in the team. And actually, more sustainable. Eh. More sustainable. I, I would say someone would be a, Ma a Maokai, Nautilus, really. Yeah, they, they would, they like, would, like, they, it, I, I, yeah, they would, like, be destroyed by Renekton, though. Ayun nga lang. Which is a but problem. But yeah. Just ban the Necton. So that's that's one delegation. S something has to be done on the top lane. You know, that's one uh, one thing I uh, I'd be expecting for explicit esports as adjustment coming in from this game one. Yeah, but the most important thing I still think is yes, the decision making, mm -hmm. uh, the macro play as well, mm -hmm. the rotations, as uh, everything. <laughs> both the micro and micro need to be adjusted for both of these teams if they want to get a chance into PGS. Yes. Let's see. Let's see whether there be the adjustments. Our game two again. Game one, palamang po yan ng ating best pre series. For our first match, meron pa tayong second match. And on that second match, malalaman natin kung sino ang ating pinakabagong PGS team. Asian, G1, we will know. And of course, malalaman din natin sino dito yung mas, dito nga sa dalawang team na to. Infuse and of course, explicit. Sino yung makakalaban ng TNC and of course, ng Team Manila Eagles. Ladies and gentlemen, kami po ay naging shoutcaster. For this game, I am Shinbu with the one for an eye. And with me is my partner, Atlas. This is just the game one of the first match here in the Built Overs Finest. Finals, and we'll see you guys in game. Back One on. by one, members of the 
esports are getting blocked, but it's gonna be pure. Puts in the isolation damage, gets the killer that comes now. He's Isaiah and Abadisha. They put the turn is on full oh, time. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, but it's smart to be here there by the pure. Oh, that's a guy who needs to play for the team. It is esports for the team that gets the kill on this rise. Now they take to the green. Never see the next place in esports. Pero is better than now. He doesn't grab line. Abadisha dies. Playful mixed up with a kill with my line and the strike to fight who is with Yo Yo is gone. There's the shot that I'm not secure. Now he kills and the sun and I go in for the two. Oh, she's still survived. One last bullet. There is the reload. There's also the clap skin. Okay, this is a delay. I'm going to put it in the front. After a season fight, after a pickoff in the best nation, SB. Uh, both these teams, if they get a Baron Buck, they can finish the game very easily. Death timers are not enough. This is actually going to be a quick game of the best nation. It's just one of those